Hey guys, it's Lynn. Um, I've been asked several times to do a tutorial video on how to make these cards. They're kind of antique looking. And several times people have asked, would I please tell y'all how I do this? So, first you're going to take your card. You know, I use the heavier watercolor paper just because it seems to stand up to all the items better, you know, it'll hold up better. First, I plan out what I'm going to do on the card. That's the first thing you're going to do. This is just a fabric doily. This is a um, strip. This is actually a sticky strip of paper. This is wood. You can buy, I got all of this stuff at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And you just kind of plan out what I want to do with them. Where I want to place the items. This, these flowers are recollections. They come with butterflies too. And they kind of stand up. The, this is recollection, recollections doilies, and they're fabric. And then I just kind of put stuff around, see where it's gonna fit. You know, sometimes you have to move stuff to get it exactly where you want it. Um, those flowers are poppies and papery. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. And let's see, I'm going to put those there. You just kind of place it around until you get it where you want. Now, I take a picture of it when I get to this point, just so that I can remember where exactly I put everything. Sometimes it doesn't come out exactly the way I had it planned, but anyway, that's what I do. Then you take your card, and I take everything off, and take the card. And if I wanna put any kind of texture on it, I go ahead and my pencil's already over my card. I put the stencil down and make my own texture paste. So you take that. And go ahead and apply the texture. And you can also do a video on how to make texture paste if anybody wants one of those. It's really simple and it smells good. And you can control the thickness when you make it yourself. You can make it thicker if you want thicker or thinner. So you put your texture paste on there. And I'll let it sit for just a second or two. Let it kind of harden up. And then you just clear that off. So you have your texture on your card. Then you just wait for it to dry. This is wet and this one's dry. So we're gonna work with the dry one. Now I also make my own gesso. And that's the next step. I'm gonna take black gesso and 
and you want to cover the entire card. And I make my own gesso also. If anyone wants a video on how to do that, just let me know. I will show you how to make that too. So get that on there. And you can still see the texture. It's kind of harder to see it when it's wet, but it's still on there. Also, at this point, since you have the gesso out, you want to paint all your items that you had. This is the little green strip over there. This is the flower. And you have the owl and the little corner piece, the flower. Make sure you paint the back of these flowers, which I do. Make sure you paint the backs of them. Just that way, if you accidentally don't get enough paint on there, then. It's okay. And then the little gears, I painted those as well. That's what they normally look like. And then I paint them so that the acrylic will stay on them better. So once you have this point and your gesso has dried, which I don't really see on this, but it has the texture on it. Your next step is going to be to glue all of your items onto the card. I use tacky glue. It seems to hold up pretty well. Everything seems to stick well. And stay stuck. Which I need more tacky glue. don't like to get stuff on you you can use a brush I just use my finger just because I feel like it's easier works for me and glue that down now these are sticky on the back if you peel off the paper but I don't like to do that. I don't think that it sticks very well or it may come up later and I don't want my cards falling apart later. So I just go ahead and use the tacky glue. And I'm sure any kind of craft glue that you have would work fine. And I put that on there. And you'll notice that this hangs off on either side a little bit. But that's okay because I will trim that off before I get finished. speed this video up at this point.
Now, even though this is a sticker, I go ahead, it would stick on there, but I do go ahead and add the tacky glue to it because, like I said, I don't want my cards falling apart later. So I go ahead and use the glue. Gluing the gears here. I'm going to pause the video at this point so that we can wait for the glue to dry because your glue has to be completely dry before you put the acrylic on and then I will come back and we will finish up. 